guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bringing to episodes 7 and 8 of season 2 of Squid Girls. Let's go ahead and get started on episode 7 and 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, God. Yeah, you know what? I need this after watching 86, because, bruh! Oh, my God. <laughs> That fucking happened, like, oh my god. Oh God, what do you want now? Mm-hmm, it goes right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know they gotta have a test dummy. You're the one who invited them, like, damn, why don't you start talking? Jesus. It really is. I mean, bruh, come on now. Why don't we go home? But you're hanging around humans, Inca. That's his happy? I, I, okay. I can't even imagine what his sad could be like.
I, I bet. I can't imagine, you know. Oh my god. No. Yeah, I mean, in a way, I think he is trying to be kind about this. But it's getting late. We have to go. It's jello, babe. Now we get to go home. Mm -hmm. Here she come. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, damn. Oh. Do you have amnesia? Oh, fuck. Echo. I'm not bothering her with her. Oh, never mind. Unfortunately. <laughs> no! 
they would run with that shit. Your girlfriend. Cindy. Isn't that the same spaceship from Dragon Ball Z? And it was love at first sight. Like, she would actually believe that, though. <laughs> and you don't want to be her girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. That sounds so fake to you, Inca. But it's true. Right? I mean, you know, they never really answered that question. We're already halfway done with the second season, so, I mean... You can't take it off, baby. Yeah, you don't want to bleed. Oh! Seriously? You still don't remember Sane? Oh my god, Inka, ooh. <laughs> Unless she was playing with her and fucking with her.
Uh, um, there is no invasion club, baby. Exactly. Yeah, you don't even have an answer for that. Well, yeah, you can also put Echo School because <laughs> uh, season one. Damn, are you? <laughs> oh, it is cute. Basically, because what else can kids do? Maybe she got sick today. I think we should. She's right. Yeah, she got sick, I figured. Oh, baby, you worried about her? You want to go see her? Mm -hmm. You go check up on her. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> of course, Inga could say. <laughs> Hold up, but wait, wait, wait. How can a squid catch a cold? Has that been scientifically proven yet? I mean... Maybe. Can I, well hold on, cause yeah, if, if animals can ca get sick, then yeah, if it, <laughs> the ink god plant. If, if an if regular animals like a dog, a cat, a hamster, maybe even a snicker, a lizard. I don't know about a snicker, a lizard, but I know a dog, a cat. Excuse me. Um. And a hamster could possibly get sick sick. Hell, you know, I don't think my dogs, like any of my dogs had colds, but the biggest thing was COVID. Like animals could get COVID and such. But, um, I, yeah, yeah, you never know. You never know. But I thought it was sweet that they made an invade club. Like that was adorable. Oh my God. That was so fucking cute. Like, oh, and then the fact that they went to go see what's your face at her house and like there's nothing but Inca merch everywhere in a way. That is the place uses as like storage stuff for plants. And use the one as a as a toilet. As a toilet. What the fuck, Joe? But it was really interesting to see Inca with amnesia. I mean, very, very different. <laughs> but the fact is, like, she fucked with Sane and being like, who are you? Like, mm. But, like, damn, you're supposed to remember Sane, even though you don't like her like that. Hell, can we just talk about the fact that both Cindy and Sane were like, you know what, since Inca don't remember anything, let's go ahead and make up something and let her run with that. Even Chizuru got in on the fun and like, oh, yeah, like, you know, Echo is actually your little sister, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Like, God, that was so freaking hilarious. Like, this was a very kind of slow episode, but I, honestly, I'm okay with that because, like I said, I needed this after watching this week's 86, especially episode 8, because, like, holy shit, that's all I'm going to say about that. But, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Like, I love the fact that this week's was very slow place and how... There were a lot more, let's be a little more connections-ish and like that, or like, you know, let's do this, and let's do that, whatever, and let's make it a little more funner, and this is a third. And then, you know, Inca joining a club, which is sweet. I mean, because like, I was expecting them once again to also put like a circle around Echo's school because she invaded the school in season one. So I think probably what they did, and since they didn't really add it into the episode and such, they probably had like a whole bunch of other things that she did invade. And they're like, okay, well, no, let's all invade this as a club because we are a club and we are together. And so we have to do it essentially as a group, which is sweet. So I really understand that a lot, but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode eight. Okay. Episode eight and three, two, one, go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
a, an Inca surveillance camera. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Have fun. You fell for it so easily. Sure, Inca, sure. Yeah, you bored now, huh? Oh, shit. <laughs> no! Unless you left the door unlocked. See? But baby, baby, she, he's a robber. She's not your child.
What if this is a trap? It, this is a trap. It's Cindy. Of course. <laughs> Let's see how long that lasts, baby. Basically.
Say no. <laughs> no matter where she runs, all she sees is shrimp. Gotta say no. Mm. <laughs> oh my God, poor baby. Are you in a hospital? Oh, you got the first aid booth. I know that feeling. Sunny?
Well, probably so, but then also to help you. <laughs> That's a bad idea. We need to get the fuck out of here. We can't be in here with Sane. The music. Right? <laughs> the water bottle. You telling me she left just like that.
<laughs> Poor Inca. Even being in a room with Sonic for a couple of hours and, you know, having a heat show with both of them still didn't make her feel safe. <laughs> okay. So the big, big majority of this episode, the big lesson for this week is to always, always make sure you lock your doors and to kind of have cameras around in your house or certain areas just, you know, because you never know what could happen. So you always got to be precautious because once again, you never know what in the world could happen. How <laughs> someone, the fact is that Inca got so fooled by <laughs> like Echo Saints a shrimp a shrimp service girl like ran through the door and busted open with a wallet like girl no girl <laughs> oh, that was hilarious this episode went by fast though for me in my opinion but it was good very funny the fact that once like Inca was like I'm giving up on shrimp like my shrimp addiction it is done. We are not talking about it again. And the fact is that no matter what she did, all she saw was fucking shrimp. I mean, girl, if you're hungry, I mean, how? You, you gotta reward yourself every now and then. But sometimes you cannot reward yourself too much on that one thing that you like because eventually, you know, you're gonna get sick of it. But seriously, yes, always reward yourself. As someone who has been a vegetarian for a year, like, I still eat occasionally, like, chicken. I like chicken. I like hamburgers. But I will not overindulge myself because if I do, I end up making myself kind of sick. Like, I end up having, like, really, really bad headaches to the point where I am, like, Ugh, I felt like I've, like, there, there hasn't been a, a point where I've gone to, like, throw up, but I... There's points where, like, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Like, I feel like just, eh. But it's because your body is so used to now being off of it. Like, I cannot imagine if I was, like, five years into this and I had, like, a cheeseburger or just, like, regular old Popeye's chicken or even Publix chicken and I eat it and the next thing you know, my stomach is like, hey, yo, what the fuck did you just try to eat, you dumb girl? What the fuck is wrong with you? But, yeah, I mean, this episode was really sweet. I loved it. Once again, the shrimp addiction, you know, being like, we're cutting this off. Like, no, we have to stop. Or even, you know, baby, you know, being sick. Like, thank God she felt better. And so because she was asking Sonny, like, yo, what are you going to do once I feel better? And be like, yeah, you get well soon. And then I'm just going to message you all day, every day. Like, poor Inca. You got to feel for Inca, though. Like, she she is best girl besides Chizuru, but still... <laughs> And also, the other big lesson of today is always, always, always keep hydrated because you never know what's going to happen. We're getting, we're currently in summer, technically. It's only May. It's the first week of May. And here in Florida, it gets really, really hot during the summertime. So, if you ever do go out, make sure you do have lots of water, something fluid. Hell, eat some fruit. Yeah, because that also gives you water intake as well but make sure to also still have something to drink with you preferably not soda or anything because that is going to make you more thirstier and such so just always always have like water or something to drink on you so that you know you don't end up getting dehydrated because that sucks but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode seven and eight of season two of Squid Girl. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. Bye, guys.